Okay, so let's plug in our thumb drive. Let's mount him to mount external drive. Let's talk about the volumes real quick. So on our system, we want to have our repository, which is gonna be stored in that external drive. We need that to be visible, right? We need that to be mounted within the Docker container. So in this demo, we're just gonna go over a local directory or a NAS. So in this case, it's our thumb drive that I put in there. Let's see, we've got the latest hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, annual. I can go into there and I can look here. Here's that whole image mounted directory, right? And boom, got all my files back on my other system. They were encrypted on my thumb drive and then I used them onto another virtual machine. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be installing Copia and we're gonna be creating snapshot backups with it and we can monitor our snapshots through the web user interface that Copia provides. The interface allows us to define what directories we want to take snapshots of and where we want those snapshots to go. And of course, Copia allows us to create a repository either locally or to a NAS or to an external service, such as like an S3 bucket. In this tutorial, we're just gonna be doing it to an external drive. So we're gonna get snapshots of all of our data to that external drive. I'm gonna show that to you with a uh, USB thumb drive. And then we're gonna transfer that USB thumb drive to another server, and we're gonna restore our Copia repository to that server. So I am kind of piggybacking off of my previous RAID tutorial in which I demonstrated redundancy between two drives that were mirrored in a RAID 1 array. I already had an image installed on there. So in this video, we are going to be backing up our image photos onto our Copia repository. So I love this software. I think Copia is amazing. It's so cool just like seeing your snapshots in the web UI and not to mention that you can do this remotely to like a remote backup system. So really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, if you learned something, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe. So let's get started. Okay, for this one, guys, I am going to go ahead and just use a virtual machine that I have already installed image on. And I'm going to go ahead and make a clone of it now in case we want to use it later in the video. So let's call this a demo copia restore. Okay, we're gonna clone that guy. Actually, I'm gonna clone the second machine here. Read copia restore. Okay, let's boot this up. Okay, guys, so I'm using cockpit as my drive manager that I set up in a previous video. If you want to check that out, check out the link above. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I'm going to be setting up a Copia repository on an external drive. So with Copia, uh, the whole point is to have snapshot backups of the file systems that you want to back up. And you can set up a Copia repository on another drive, like it might be an external drive, or you can set it up to an S3 bucket. It's very flexible. So the first thing I wanna do is I am going to actually just use a USB thumb drive, and this is what I want to be the repository for my Copia repository. So I'm gonna use cockpit to kind of visualize this thumb drive. Hopefully this kind of helps out a little bit. And I want this to, really kind of mimic the real world situation of image in which you have a storage pool, whether it's a RAID array or a ZFS file system. Uh, I'm gonna go off of the RAID array tutorial I previously did. So I have image mounted to my RAID array. So if I CD'd into my image app and then looked at that .env file, you can see that my upload location is on this mounted RAID array that's called mirror, right? That is where the assets are being stored. Okay, so let's plug in our thumb drive. And then in VirtualBox, I'm gonna go into the settings, go to USB, and I might need to, okay, let's see if we can do this without turning it off. This is the SanDisk Ultra. Okay, let's see if that 
shows up. Okay, let's go and shut down the virtual machine and then let's start this up. Let's see if we can see it. LSBLK. Okay, we have we have a USB drive and that is this guy. I can I can see my two RAID 1 drives that are mounted to mount mirror and then I can see my external drive which is mounted to media thomas external. Now, I want this external drive to be mounted to a different path and that it always gets mounted there. So let's make a path. We're going to do make directory and then mount and let's call it external drive. OK, we need to do a pseudo. I'm just kind of curious if cockpit also shows us our external drive. So it does it says removable drive SDD. That's pretty cool. And it is a ext4 file system. So great. It's already formatted to ext4, so I don't need to reformat it. Uh, but I could just use cockpit to go ahead and mount this guy. So let's try that. Let's mount him to mount external drive. Proceed. OK, so it's going to unmount it. That's great. We don't have to do it in the command window. We can just do it in cockpit. OK, boom, it's now mounted. So that's where we want the repository to be for Copia. Now let's go ahead and install Copia. So I'm going to go to thomaswildtech.com. Uh, let's see here, tags, Copia. Okay, so yeah, if I did want to mount this manually without Cockpit, I would want to look at what that UUID is. But Cockpit just makes it so easy. So this would have given us the external drive and the UUID that we would use also tells us the format. So we can kind of skip that. Okay, I'm gonna copy my Docker Compose file. It's pretty much the same as the the one in the Copia GitHub. And let's create let's CD into Docker and I don't have a file, so I'm going to make a directory for Docker, CD into Docker, and then let's make a directory for Copia, CD into Copia, and then we're going to nano a docker compose.yml and paste this in here. Let's talk about the volumes real quick. So on our system, we want to have our repository, which is going to be stored in that external drive. We need that to be visible, right? We need that to be mounted within the Docker container. So we can just mount that to repository. You can mount that to whatever location you deem necessary. But when we get into the app, this is where the repository is going to be located. So just for simplicity, I'm calling it repository. And then now we also need to get access to the files that we want to back up. So that is going to be our RAID array. OK, so let's see. What was that path again? Let's look. Let's create a new terminal and CD to mount. And then so that was just called mirror. So let's just call that. Let's just say that we want to get access to mirror. And then I'll call this files. We'll mount this to a path called files. And then if we wanted like a default restore path, I'll do that to the RAID array also. We'll just give it a subfolder called restore. And that's pretty much all we really need. I've changed the username and secret password to be environmental variables because I prefer that. So I'm going to write that out. And then now in the .env file, so I'm going to copy this guy and then we're going to nano a dot env paste that in there. So username Thomas and then password. Let's do Thomas Wild Tech. I can always change it in the UI afterwards if I want to. OK, and let's take this up. So sudo docker compose up D. OK, so Copia is running on 51.51.5. Let's go to local host 51515 and then the username which was Thomas and the password was Thomas Wild Tech. Okay, we're now in Copia. So here is just a list of the different types of repositories, local directory or NAS, um, SFTP server, Google Cloud, R Cloud Remote, S3 storage, 
Backblaze B2, that's a very popular economical storage solution. So this is awesome. I believe we can only have one repository per Copia instance. So in this demo, we're just gonna go over a local directory or a NAS. So in this case, it's our thumb drive that I put in there. And we, if you recall, we binded that repository that we wanted to on our thumb drive to this directory repository. So that's where we're going to go. I'm going to say repository. That's what we want. Go next. And then repository password. So used to encrypt the repository's contents. Okay. So do the Thomas Wild tech. And then we're going to do create repository. Sweet. Okay. So let's set up a snapshot system. Okay. Enter the path to the snapshot. I want to snapshot my image uploads, my image assets. I want to have all of my photos in the database backups. I want those snapshotted to my repository. Okay, so where did we mount that again? Let's look at the um, Docker Compose. Okay, so that's just in the files drive. So that would be the mount mirror. So depending on if I want to snapshot my entire RAID array, I could do that or I could just do like a sub directory where, where image is stored. Let's see where image is stored again. So it was in CD mirror and then the image folder there. So CD image. Okay, and then there's that binded uh, library. So let's let's just do a snapshot of that. So it's going to be in files and then image. So files image. And then I'm just gonna hit the estimate button. Okay, total bytes, 28 megabytes. Let's look at the snapshot retention, number of most snapshot, most recent snapshots to retain per source. Effective, 48, seven days, four weeks, 24 months, three years. Let's say we want eight hours, seven days, four weeks, three months, and one year. How does that sound? Okay, so let's go and do snapshot now. All right, so we have a snapshot and we already set up our timer, essentially. So if I looked at that files image, let's see, we've got the latest hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, annual. I can go into there and I can look here. Here's that whole image mounted directory, right? Got the backups. I got that SQL dump that I did in my last raid video. Let's see what this Copia repository looks like on the server side. So let's look at CD mount and we got the external drive. So let's CD into external drive. Then we have the Copia folder. Let's just CD into that. So there's the Copia repository. CD into the Copia repo. Here's the repository itself. So it should be encrypted and that way, if I, you know, depending on what the permissions are on the external drive itself, the files are, are encrypted. So that's pretty awesome. So if we look at a particular snapshot, check it out. You can mount it as a local file system and you or you could also restore the files and directory. So kind of depending on what I gave access to to Copia, which would be in my Docker Compose file. Uh, let's see here. So I gave it read only access to my mirror, but I gave it right access to this restore area. Okay, so let's see if we can restore files and directories. And then I'm just going to do it to this restore path. Okay, and then I'm going to hit begin restore. Okay, so it says that it restored. Let's hop over to a command window and let's go CD mount uh, mirror and let's CD into the restore. And look, there we go. There's the library, CD library. Man, isn't that so cool? That is amazing. Okay, so we've restored that right here. So pretty cool. So. Just for kicks, let's go and set up one more virtual machine, install Copia on it, use the same external drive, and then let's see if we can restore the files. Okay, so I'm going to power this baby off. I'm going to power off. And then I conveniently already made a clone. So let's make sure we've got the USB pass through there. Okay, we'll just do USB 3.0, hit OK. Okay, so we haven't installed Copia yet. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Cockpit so that we can make sure that we mount 
our USB thumb drive. So let's restore session, go into localhost 9090. Okay, let's check out our thumb drive and let's mount this baby to mount external drive. Sweet, it's mounted. Let's just check it out. So let's go CD mount external drive. And then see, we got the copia on there. So let's CD into that list, copia repo. Okay, so that's looking great. Let's check the permissions on the external drive, LSL. The external drive got Thomas Thomas, so that looks great. It's owned by me. And then, yeah, obviously we can just go ahead and just do the same restoration that we that I did on the other machine. So um, I don't think I really even need to go through the process of installing Copia again. You would just, you know, install Copia. Actually, let's go ahead and install it just to make sure we get the same repository, okay? So let's go. Okay, thomaswildtech.com. Just going to do a search for Copia. All right, yeah, let's run this again. Let's just make sure we can see that snapshot and we can restore it. Okay, so let's CD into our home directory, our user directory, and then we are going to nano this docker compose dot yaml. Uh, and then I just need to make sure that it's uh, the same as before. So this is mirror and we want to call that files. Uh, in this case, I mean, I could just, if I want to restore it back to mirror. We'll go ahead and keep this restore path with write access. So let's do that. Mirror, restore. Okay, so that should be good. Let's just make the .env file also. So nano.env, paste that. And then password was Thomas Wild Tech. And then let's uh, Docker compose up that. Pseudo Docker compose up D. Select. All right. So, repository. We want to go to repository. Next. Repository password is Thomas Wild Tech. Thomas Wild Tech, connect to repository. Okay, if I look at all snapshots, check it out. There's my snapshot from the other machine. So let's click on that. We've got that one snapshot there. And then if we wanna restore that, we can just click on it and then we can restore files and directories. So where do we wanna restore that? Well, I'll just do it right into restore. And boom, got all my files back on my other system. They were encrypted on my thumb drive and then I used them onto another virtual machine. Hey guys, if you learned something new today, if you learned how to use Copia for the first time or learned about snapshots, please consider hitting that like button for me and subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next one. All right.